Man, they really put talent in talent show. Let's give it up for Dogs Are Brown. So, uh, it's been a while since our last act has graced the stage. Uh, however, he is now. Hey, Tim. Tim. You're gonna be great. Are you okay, sweetie? Tim, you not know, feeling good? I just can't do it. Yeah, Tim, you okay? I think you just have a little stage fright, that's all. It's not that. Hey, it happens sometimes. Just picture everyone in the audience in their underwear. Yeah. Please don't make me Come do on, it. Come on, buddy. You got a lot of people counting on you. You don't want to be a quitter? Just can't do it. Take me home. Oh, honey. I want to go home. This is ridiculous. Come on. Let... Well, honey, listen, we just need to get him inside, OK? He's already late. Hey, I've got a great idea. How about we all go out for ice cream after the show? Oh, you like that? You know what? I don't remember your favorite flavor. What is it? Oreo cookie's my favorite. Well, then, Oreo cookie ice cream it is, then. But listen, all you have to do, honey, is get out of the car, OK? Here we go. Come on. Come on, buddy, let's go. <laughs> Wendy, your mother was telling such a lovely story. Oh, which one was it? It was about the prince, and he couldn't find the lady who wore the glass slipper. Oh, that's Cinderella, silly. <laughs> he found it, and they lived happily ever after. Are you ready? Tim, be ready for your cue. That's your cue. They need you. Come on. Tim, you need to be on a stage right now. Tim. Come on, Tim. He missed his cue. Where is he? Tim. Where is he going? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Let's go find out. <clears throat> What's going on? Where are you guys going? Watch out for your little brother. We'll be right back. What's wrong? Go away. 
please talk to me? Come on. I've never seen you like this before. Him. Charlie, I'll go. Oh, sweetheart. what you guys have been going through. So Tim, you're 10 years old, right? 10 and three quarters. Oh, wow. Well, you are not a kid anymore. I'm gonna have to talk to you like a grown up. What do you say? Sure. Do you have any idea why mommy brought you here to talk to me today? I, I guess it's because sometimes I don't act great. I just can't help it. What do you mean? Well, sometimes I get kind of worried. Okay. Well, I'm a doctor, and it's my job to help you understand those worried feelings a little bit better. So you're like feelings doctor? Sort of, kind of like a feelings doctor. Tim, do you know what the word anxiety means? Do you have any idea what it means? Not really. Well, people feel anxiety when they have lots of worry in their brains, and it makes them feel bad inside. You know what I call those kind of bad thoughts? Junk thoughts. Like junk food? Mm-hmm. Kind of like junk food. Kind of like when you, you feel really bad inside, like after you've eaten too much junk food. And it's my job to help you understand and get rid of those junk thoughts. Okay? Think of your junk thoughts like bullies. If you give in to a bully, what usually happens? They just keep on you. Exactly. Junk thoughts are the same way. You have to stand up to them and tell them you're not afraid. Garrett's not so nice with boys. Oh, Brad hates her. Yeah. I didn't know Brad had a hard time with her. Oh, she just has a hard time with boys with a little spunk, that's mm -hmm. all. Well, Tim's afraid of her. I don't know, she makes him really anxious. Your kids feel that way? I have to have Charlie, I don't know. Uh, it goes right over Brad's head. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know, sometimes getting Tim to school seems... Aaron is such a space. It takes him forever to get dressed. It drives me crazy. Charlie is ready before I am. He, like, rushes me out the door. <laughs> well, <laughs> Jenny must change her clothes ten times before walking okay, out the door. Okay, girl, versus yeah. boy. I yeah, can yeah. see that. I won't change his clothes Well, Tim daily. hates school now. It's just he is so adamant not oh, to go. Oh, all kids hate school sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Emma loves it. <laughs> of course he does. But maybe she's doing arts. You know, he was doing that for a while. Yeah. He really liked that. He should right? go back to dance class. He's so talented. Yeah. You know, we tried. We tried. He just refuses to go. I think it's a phase, maybe. Yeah. Really, yeah. Catherine, I mean, I know he was embarrassed about what happened at the play, but the kids have forgotten all about it. Yeah, you need yeah. to just teach yeah. him to get right back on that horse. Show must go on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, what about that youth theater in town, the, uh, the Irvington Players? Oh, yeah. You know, I've mm -hmm. tried that, actually. I can't even get him in the car to get there. I should, don't know. You should just drag his butt in the car. That's what. Just tell him you're going. Put him in the car. I He's too young yep. to know what he wants. Mm -hmm. Bribe him with ice cream. Yeah, bribe him with ice cream. Bribe him with ice cream. How about I bribe me with ice cream? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? The ladies, I have to tell you, nothing works. I've tried. It just, it's been tough. Well, I think he's just being manipulative and stubborn. <laughs> um. Timmy doesn't have a manipulative bone in his body. He is one of the sweetest boys I've ever met in my entire life. Thanks, Lisa. Listen, does anyone want some coffee? I do. Well, you know, let me help you. That was rude. Oh, typical Suzanne. You know I'm always here, right? I do. Thank you. Do I have to go back in there? Unfortunately. Do you have whiskey? <laughs> Absolutely. Everybody at school hates me. Why do you think that, Tim? I can tell by how they look at me. Well, people look at other people for no reason sometimes. You're looking at me right now. Does that mean you hate me? <laughs> no, you're okay. 
So learning to take deep breaths. Okay. But teach your body to relax. And when your body is relaxed, it's hard to feel anxious. All right, everybody ready for their quiz? Your number two pencils. Take a deep breath in through your nose and feel the air. Now very slowly let the air out through your mouth. Okay, let's do it again. Take a deep breath in. Hi, how'd you do on the quiz? Not good, I couldn't concentrate. I didn't get it either. Hey, wanna have a sleepover tomorrow after the soccer game? Sure. I'll see you then. See ya. I have some news for you. What, baby? You can fight me. <laughs> but just don't scream. No. <laughs> There'll be no yes. more reading. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mm. 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 I don't have a phone, baby. No, mm. I'm gonna, honey, I gotta get the phone. No, no, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> stop it, stop it. Okay, give me a phone. Wait, where is it? There it is. There's it. Okay. Hello? Oh, hey. Oh, got in. Hi, Lisa. Hey, what's wrong? Go away. Go away, Lisa. Is it? Why? Is he sick? Really? That is so strange. Okay, will you put him on the phone? I'll try to talk to him. Henry, stop it. <laughs> hey, Tim, baby, what's the matter? Why do you want to come home? Well, you love sleeping at Charlie's. Stop it. Are you sure? <laughs> well, remember, Lisa was going to make waffles in the morning. Your favorite. No, 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 don't cry. Stop it. Yeah, remember your breathing exercises, baby? That's right. Yeah, like Dr. Slater taught you. Okay, honey. Sh 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 no, no, no. Okay, Daddy's gonna come get you. Okay. I love you, honey. Honey, what was all that about? Daddy's gonna come get you. He wants to come home. From Charlie's? I know. It's so strange. Come on, he can wait. Oh, Henry, please be serious, okay? Look over there. No, he's really upset, okay? He's really upset. Please, go get him. Okay. Okay, fine. You know, Tim doesn't seem to be doing any better, even with all this therapy. I have a feeling something else is going on. Really? One anxiety disorder isn't enough for you? What did you say? You know, he needs to stick things out sometimes. I don't feel like picking him up. You know what? That's not fair to Lisa. Okay, besides, I don't think that being tougher is the answer. Obviously. What? All I'm saying is that I agree with you. I don't think all this expensive therapy is paying off. Because I think he thinks he can get away with it. And he knows it. You know what? I've grounded him, Henry. I've taken away his favorite things, and I've bribed him, and I've used the stupid sticker charts. You're never home, Henry. You don't see how hard I try, and I'm exhausted. And you know what? If I'm such a terrible mother, then how come Kyle and Jesse don't act this way too, huh? Jeez. I got a great idea. Why don't you stay home? See if you can do any better. Fine. I don't mind doing that. You ready to go back to work? Pay all the bills and the lifestyle around here. You want to play that card? You're going to have a good day, honey. Play with your friends. Charlie will be there, right? You want to see Charlie? Good morning, Timothy. Thank you so much for meeting us here. Rough morning again today, Tim? It took me an hour just to get him in the car. Tim, why don't you head to my office and we can chat a bit before you go to class, okay? I don't feel good. My head hurts. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, if you don't start feeling better, we can go to the nurse's office, but I think once you get to class, you'll be fine. Yeah. It's pizza day. You don't want to miss that. Oh, pizza day. No, yeah? 
That sounds like fun. Come on, buddy. Come on. Have a good day, sweet. Okay. I love you. That's a good man. That's my good boy. You know, Catherine, he's fine once he's here. Sometimes kids pick up on their parents' anxiety. Maybe you should consider talking to someone. Come on, buddy. Hi, Catherine. Hey, Suzanne. How are you? Uh, oh, my God. Michael's just so busy these days with all of his extracurricular activities. It's just so stressful. This morning, he completely forgot his lunch, poor thing. And he hates the school food. Ugh. So I just made him some homemade chicken noodle soup. Catherine, call me. We really need to get together. Bye. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Let's play another game, shall we? Call this one the distraction game. It's gonna help you get rid of all those junk thoughts. You ready to play? Sure, I love games. Okay, so you have to pick a category. It can be boys' names, capital cities, whatever you like. How about food? Okay, food works, that's good. As long as it's alphabetical, like apples, bananas, cherries, and so on. You get it? Yes, but I hate fruit. Can't we do candy instead? <laughs> you can do anything you like as long as you make it alphabetical, okay? All right. Shall we try it? Sure. Okay. You start. David. Eddie. Frank. George. Henry. Igloo. <laughs> Igloo. What kind of boy's name is that? A very cold one. <laughs> Such a doofus. <laughs> All right, Kyle. Come on, buddy. Crossing pass. Go Here we go. Two. I'm gonna head it in. Ready, 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 ready. Here we go. There you go. Oh, 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 dude, oh. ten in a row. Wow. <laughs> when you put your mind to something, you are awesome. Man. Yeah. Good All right, job. almost ready. Come on in and wash up. Let's go. Let's go. No. Oh, no, I, I am worn out and I'm hungry now. Let's go. Please, stay out with me. I need more practice. Look, buddy, you are an amazing goalie, all right? But I'm starving. Come on, let's go. You're such a jerk! Whoa. You haven't done anything I want! Why won't you stay out with me? Dad, make Kyle help me! Tim, your brother's been playing with you all day. Now, come on, it's getting dark and Mom made a great dinner. Tim, that's enough. I'll play with you, Timmy. We don't even know how to play soccer. Get away Tim. from me, you little hey. boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Come on. Let's go, buddy. Inside now. Why are all you guys leaving me? I'm running away. I hate you. Hey, Tim, get back here right now and apologize to your brother. I'm so sorry. Shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't mean it. It's gonna be okay. Tim, honey. Come on. Tim? <sighs> Timothy! Go away. Okay. You know what? You're almost oh. 11 now. You're too old for this. How much longer are we gonna do this, huh? You've already missed 36 days of school. Listen, I need to get you dressed, okay? Where's Tim? He won't get out of bed. Kyle, honey, you're gonna miss the bus. Kyle! You're gonna miss the bus. All right. Okay. Have a good day. Listen, I have to get Jesse to school. Okay, can you please give it a try? I don't know, Henry. Maybe he'll listen to you. Let's go, Jesse. Okay.
I give up. That kid is impossible. I told him that if he, if he wasn't going to school, no video, no TV, there's no computer all week. And I need you to be on the same page as me because I don't want to give him mixed signals. Don't you think I've tried that already? Absolutely nothing works when he gets like this. But he has to go to school. He has to go to school. He just can't quit. All right? He has to understand that sometimes in life there are things that he has to do I know, that he doesn't okay? like. I know. And I agree. But maybe this isn't the right school for Tim. I mean, his teachers don't understand him. And other than Charlie, he doesn't really have any friends. You know, Bob's son, he goes to a private school. Seems to be doing quite well there. Okay. Well, there you go. Okay, well, that means that you're gonna have to find the school, which might be a blessing in disguise. Could be less expensive than all this therapy, okay? I gotta get to work. I love you. Mrs. Spencer, we aren't seeing that kind of behavior here. I've observed him in class, and he's quiet, but perfectly fine. Well, I guess he saves it up for me, then. Well, sometimes kids act out to get their parents' attention. Is everything OK at home? Everything is fine. And Mr. Collins, I really appreciate everything that you and Dr. Maynard have done. But Henry and I have decided to send Tim to a private school. Really? Where? Uh, the Campbell Academy. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but Campbell does have a fantastic reputation. I'm... Uh, we certainly will miss him. Well. If there's anything I can do to help with the transition to the new school, please let me know. Well, thank you. Both. I really appreciate it. Good luck. Take care. Kyle, honey, hurry up. You're going to miss the bus. Yeah, OK. Seriously, Kyle, if I have to drive you, then Tim's going to be late. All right? Please hurry. All right, well, I'm sorry that Tim's the one who gets to go to a fancy private school without busing. OK. Are we going to do that again? Hmm? Honey. Whatever. Can you take Jesse on your way to work? I sure can. Thank you. You ready to go, pal? Uh-huh. How's school going, by the way? Good. The kids are very cool, and the teachers are nice. But the homework is really hard. Well, don't worry about that. We're going to get through it together. OK. Jesse knows all the uh, necessaries. Huh? Right, OK. Buddy? Guys, mm -hmm. we got to hurry, all right? We're all going to be late if we don't get out of here. Light can pass through some types of matter. Matter that allows light to pass through it so a clear image can be seen is called, Christopher? Transparent. Yes. Can you give me an example? Windows. Right. What about matter that allows some, but not all, light to pass through it? What is that called? David. Translucent, like wax paper. Yes. What about matter? that allows no light to pass through it. What is that called? Tim? Uh, uh... Tim, were you paying attention? Yes, sir. So what word do we use for matter that does not allow any light to pass through it? Uh, solid? Yes, Christopher. It's called opaque. Exactly. And what happens when you shine a light on an object that's opaque? David. You create a shadow. Yes, that's right. OK, everybody get out a pencil and paper. We're going to do an experiment. This cake is so good. <laughs> and so cute. I'm so glad you could make it. Charlie really misses Tim at school. Oh, I know. I'm sorry, oh Lisa. Oh, my god. Don't be silly. I didn't mean that at all. Hey, if I could get Darren to transfer Charlie to Campbell, I would in a heartbeat. You know, he was just so miserable. I mean, we didn't know what else to do. So why did you pull Tim out? Do you really think the academics at Campbell are so much better? 
You know, it's not about the academics. Tim just needed a different environment. But all of his friends are here. And he gets to see them every week at soccer. Mm -hmm. Besides, there's lots of ways to keep in touch with friends. You know, it's not like we moved. Tim? Honey, are you okay? I want to go home. I don't feel well. We can't go home, honey. It's Charlie's birthday party. I don't care. Honey, listen. Charlie is your friend, and it wouldn't be right to leave his birthday party, okay? What's going on with you, baby? Listen, maybe we need to give Dr. Slater a call later, okay? No, it's not that. Well, Tim, we're not going home, okay? We're staying. You okay? I'm okay. He, he has a headache. He'll be fine. I don't know. Parties are stressful for kids. I mean, parties are stressful for me, especially mm. with this crowd. Right? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's why you're my best friend. I love you. I'm here, you know. I love you more. And I have cake. Okay. You ready to go? <laughs> One more soccer ball. <laughs> and I think we're ready? good. Don't okay. forget the star. Yeah, no. Okay, yeah. Alma. Okay. There we go. You ready, everybody? Who wants cake? <laughs> Woohoo! Are you ready, sweetheart? Okay, Charlie. Can we give a big, big, big happy birthday? Timmy, will you lead the happy birthday, please? Come on, Tim. It's OK, honey. It's OK. He's just not feeling well. Let's say one piece, OK? OK. I love you. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Everybody ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday! All right, I'm done. Look, Mommy, I'm done, too. Good job, sweetie. That's not fair! I can't do this! This homework is stupid! Let's go watch some TV. Come here, let me see. OK, is this your homework? Uh-huh. OK. It looks like you have to read this chapter and then answer the questions. So how much of it have you read? Well, do you remember reading it? Why don't I read it to you and we can work on it together, okay? But I hate school. Oh, Tim. And all of the other kids are so smart. Honey, look, we can handle this, okay? I can talk to your teachers about the work, fail. Tim. I hate it. Listen, I hate it. you just have to take one day at a time. But remember? I'm gonna fail. I can't do honey, anything. Honey, you're not right. gonna fail, okay? No, honey, you're not going to fail, okay? We won't let you. Tim, we're going to get through this. It's no use. I'm stupid. I hate this school. I'm not doing homework. Tim, you're just having a bad day, all right? I'm not having a bad day. I'm not going to school anymore, okay. so there's no point. OK, we can't go through this again. All right, we can't keep switching schools every time it gets hard. You don't get it. I don't need to go to school anymore. OK, don't be ridiculous, Tim. You're only 14. Of course you need to go to school. Why can't I be homeschooled? Tim, we've been through this a million times, and why? we're not talking. It's inconvenient for you. I need you to calm down. You hate me, that's okay. why. I hate you, too. I'm not going to school anymore. Tim, Mom, calm down. I'm hungry. I hate you, too, you little brat. Tim, stop it. I hate everything. I wish I was dead. What's going on? Hey, let's just order pizza, OK? Mom? Again? Kyle, Tim's just having a bad day. He's always having a bad day. You shouldn't let him get away with acting like that. You gonna ground him? Okay, let me worry about Tim, okay? I am the mom. Yeah, well, clearly that isn't working out very well, is it? Come here. Do better now that Tim is back, huh? <laughs> but how has he been? Oh, he just had some stomach problems lately. Ah, well, he looks better now, thank God. Yeah. We haven't seen him at practice much either. 
Seriously, Catherine, is he playing for another team? <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> he just hasn't been feeling great, that's all. <laughs> yeah, I bet they keep him really busy at that private school of his. Yes, they do. <laughs> come on, Tim! Okay, come on! Tim, it's okay, honey. Tim! Hey, what's going on out there? Right the Where's right he going? What the hell happened, Henry? Some kid gave him a hard time for letting that go. schools already. I'm not one to gossip, but I heard he got kicked out of both of those schools. Yes. Well, what happened was he would walk out of the school in the middle of the day, just whenever he felt like it. Yeah. You know, I'm telling mm -hmm. you, there is something wrong with that kid. Who runs off the field in the middle of the game? Tim! They have no control over him. Come back! I would never put up with that kind of behavior. The kids don't want to hang around him anymore. And that's okay by me because I wouldn't let mine go over there anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's All right. Let's go. Yes. 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 No. Yes. No. Ah, oh, suck it. Yes. I want to rematch, Charlie. Too damn bad. Hey, it's your turn, man. I'm good. Billy can play my turn. You sure? I mean, you want to do something else? We don't have to play video games. Nope. Come on, we hardly see you anymore. You should do something. Board game, play cards, something. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we go outside and kick the ball around a bit? It's still easy on the team. No, I'm done with soccer. Why, man? It just wasn't fun anymore. You know? No, I, I really don't know. I don't know what the matter is, man. Those kids were assholes. You shouldn't have let them get to you. They had nothing to do with it. It's just boring, that's all. Soccer's not boring. What the hell do you know? You know what I know? You used to be fun to hang out with. Now you're just an asshole. So leave. Now ask your ass to come over. Oh, I know. God, what is your problem? Maybe you're my problem, Charlie. You're pathetic. You know what? Your mom begged my mom for us to come over. And yeah, now you've become a real dick. Let's get out of here. He's a freak. Yeah. Emotionally disturbed? No, I'm not going to have my son labeled for the rest of his life. No. No, we can't afford any more private schools, okay? We lost a fortune on the last one. <sighs> Aren't there any other options besides special ed? <sighs> okay. Okay. So what do I have to do to set up a meeting and have him classified. Tim, honey, you're late for school again. Honey, I know you're having a bad morning, but you know that lying there doesn't help. Honey, please, just try moving your legs. Mm. Listen, remember what the doctor said? Sometimes you gotta get the blood flowing in your body to wake it up. Tim, I know it's hard, okay? Sometimes I don't feel like getting out of bed either. Go away. I'm not going to school. Honey, I know you feel terrible, okay? The only thing you have to do right now is get out of bed. Just try moving. <sighs> well... There are those beautiful eyes. See? When is the last time you took a shower? Okay, let's get you in the shower. Well, how about a bubble bath? You used to love taking bubble baths. No, I'm not going to school. I don't think I said anything about school now, did I? Tim, are you okay in there? Tim, if you don't answer me, I'm coming in. Tim, honey, you have to turn the water off. 
Are you all right? Okay, listen, I, I'm gonna be downstairs if you need me. I've gotta grab this. survival mechanism from the Stone Age. You know, our fingers wrinkle up to uh, give us a better grip, something like that. <laughs> I don't know, I guess like um, tread on a tire? Yeah. I don't think they had tires during the Stone Age, Mom. <laughs> no, I guess they didn't. I can't even get him out of the house anymore. Well, I rarely recommend medication, but Tim is severely depressed. And therapy alone just isn't enough. I truly don't understand why this is happening. Look, anxiety and depression are often co-occurring. One can often exacerbate the other. Sometimes medications can help. I just hate to give my kids even ibuprofen, unless it's absolutely necessary. What would you prescribe? Actually, medications have to be managed through a psychiatrist. Who were you working with before? We'll start him on a very small dose at first. See how he does. Increase it gradually. I'll need to see him every two weeks to monitor him. Common side effects can include uh, drowsiness, dizziness, insomnia, nausea, weight gain, weight loss, diarrhea, constipation. Morning, Kyle. See you later, Kyle. Okay, boys, we seem to be running a bit late. Um, I'll be taking you to school. Let's get something to eat on the way, shall we? up to i'm writing a song mom it's incredible mm -hmm. it just came to me like pow do you want to hear it sure i'm not done yet mm -hmm. but do you want to read it anyway mm -hmm. never mind i i, I want to work on it some more i i need to finish the lyrics okay and I, I, I need to work on the music mm -hmm. you know what might help a keyboard in my room that's what i need is there any chance we have a keyboard uh we used to a long time ago honey i don't think oh yeah you know what my work Garage band. Does our computer have garage band? Mm, I think so. I'm not quite sure, honey. Great. I so did... can I use the computer? Uh, Tim, computer's for schoolwork, remember? Mom, this is more important than schoolwork. <sighs> this is my life we're talking about. Well, I think it sounds like a good idea. Great. So uh, can I use the computer? Please. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just this once. How long has Tim been sitting in front of that computer? Maybe time to pull a plug. I'm just happy he's not depressed. It's 11 o'clock, sweetheart. So how was your day? My day was kind of rotten. I, I mm -hmm. think I have to fly to Dallas. Wait, when? Probably Wednesday. I'll know in a little while. If I lose this account, I could lose my job. I should only be gone a couple of days. I know, honey. It's just... God, I'm just exhausted. 
You know, it's like a roller coaster with Tim every day, and he's afraid to leave the house, and I can't leave him. It's just... I thought things were getting easier with the meds. Yeah, but the side effects are really scary. Yeah, I know. <sighs> it's not supposed to be this hard. You know, teenagers are a handful in the best of circumstances. Maybe it's just a phase. Well, if that's the case, it's the longest freaking phase ever. You know what? I think you could use just a little time out with your dream date. Well, where is he? I can call him any time. <laughs> <laughs> He's on speed dial. <laughs> Honey, I can't leave Tim. You know that. Well, what do you do, leave him with Kyle? No. I'm not going to put him through that. Hi, Bob. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I know. Yeah, I've had to deal with him many times. It's, it's, it's difficult. All right. Uh, I'll smooth it out when I get there. I'll, I'll call you when I arrive. All right. Thanks. Oh, it's unbelievable how much this book describes Tim. And I really wish you would read at least a few chapters. It's helpful to learn about this information. I would love to, sweetheart. I just am swamped with work. If you could highlight some of the important parts, I'd really appreciate it. Sure. My stomach is growling. Do you have any, are there any leftovers? No. God, how did I not know the kids could have anxiety you know, or depression for no reason? Well, they didn't have that kind of stuff when we were growing up. Well, didn't you say that kid who lived down the street from you committed suicide when he was 17? Henry? Did you hear what I said? I, I mean, I... I you know I, what? I heard... You need to get your head out of that phone. I'm going to bed. Good night. So, Dad, how was your trip? Good, I hope. We'll know in a few weeks. Jesse, would you please put your napkin in your lap? Tim, really, I, I think it's time for a haircut. No. I get the whole rebel without a cause, but <laughs> you're going to have to get your haircut because you're starting to look like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's got homework tonight? I've got a test tomorrow. But it's no big deal. What subject? Calculus. It's OK. I'll ace it. I hate math. Why? It's easy. It's useless. I hate it. Don't be an idiot. You're an idiot. Only idiots like math. What are you looking at, Jesse? This whole family sucks. You're the one who sucks. You'll never even graduate from high school. I don't care. You're such a jerk. Where are you going? You have not been excused. You don't think I'm stupid. My life sucks. Kyle, did you have to say that? Oh, so now it's my fault? I didn't do anything. I hate living here! Dad, are you gonna let Tim get away with that? <sighs> I can't believe you. Kyle, please sit down. Kyle. Kyle. You all think I'm stupid and I can't do anything right. Can I watch TV? No. Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, sport. Hey, uh, yeah, thank you. Clear your plate, please. He's been like this all week while you've been gone. He was fine when I left. This is unacceptable. I'm going upstairs to talk. I think you should wait until well, he calms down. I think he should calm down right now. Tim, open this door right now. No.
can't take it anymore. Okay, look, he eventually calms down if you just leave him alone, Henry. Just leave him alone. This must be advice coming from the therapist. Just ignore it, right? Look, she says there's no use in trying to talk to him when he's irrational like this, okay? It'll just escalate the situation. It'll just escalate, right. Just if we ignore it, don't do anything. There's gotta be something we can do. I'm going crazy here. Uh, all right. The psychiatrist did give me another medication to use. All right, when he gets out of control like this. Oh, that's good news. Yes. Another medication. Mm -hmm. Have you tried it yet? No, I have not. Well, it might be a damn good time to try it. Okay, I will, Henry. I recommend that we take him off the escitalopram and put him on a mood stabilizer. A mood stabilizer? Based stabili on what you're describing, I would have to say that your son has bipolar disorder. <gasps> bipolar? That sounds pretty extreme. I mean, isn't that a condition that requires heavy medication? Or doesn't that connote serious highs and lows? I mean, Tim is never happy. I know. I never liked that doctor. Ever. Well, what does Slater say? Well, she says he's really complicated. She's not sure about bipolar, though. Well, maybe it's time for another opinion. It's funny you should say that. Because I've been trying to get an appointment with another psychiatrist, but it's three months. Three months? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, apparently there's more taxidermists in the country than there are child psychiatrists. Well, cheery future for our children. Here, take a look at this. She's highly recommended. She's supposed to be top in her field. She's really expensive, though. We're gonna do whatever we need to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Tim, for being so honest. Anything else you want to talk about? No, I'm good. All right. Do you mind if I speak to your parents alone for just a moment? Sure, whatever. Okay, would you ask them to come in? I will see you next week. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. So how did it go? It went. <clears throat> um, how are you? Well, we just don't know what to do anymore. At this rate, uh, he's gonna have a difficult time finishing high school. You know what, there are worse things than not going to school. So can you describe what it looks like when Tim gets upset? Okay, um, his eyes change, mm. like he becomes a different person. Mm -hmm. He's irrational, and he misinterprets everything that, that we say. Sometimes he can get violent. But he doesn't, he, no, he's not. No, he's never hurt anyone. And I don't think he, he would, but he threatens to. And um, he breaks a lot of things. That's hard. And how long do these episodes last? How often do they come and when they do come? It varies. Yeah, it can happen several times a day and last for hours. Just depends. Mm -hmm. I think the hardest part for me is when the rage is over. Mm -hmm. And he says he feels so terrible and he, he talks about dying. And, yeah. uh, Scary. You know, he's, he's not a bad kid. He is, he's the sweetest, kindest boy. It, well, he still is, Catherine. He's a great boy, and I mean, he doesn't want to misbehave. He's in pain. I mean, I've just noticed in my sessions with him, his moods change rapidly. He has a very high anxiety level, and he knows that he can't predict it, he can't control it. So he doesn't want to go anywhere, he doesn't want to leave the house. I mean, that's gotta be scary, especially for a teenager. I, I don't understand, doctor. This poor child is taking up to 30 pills a day. Mm -hmm. And he seems to be getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm. Now, there's got to be some medication mm -hmm. out there that can fix all this. You would think, you would think that there is no magic pill. And everyone reacts differently to every different medication. So you don't know, especially with children mm -hmm. and teenagers, because they're always growing and changing. I, I, I understand that, but there's got to be something more. Timothy has an illness. Do you really understand that? I think that he would thrive 
in a highly structured environment. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you've said yourself, like, the slightest change in schedule or disappointment can throw him off. But I'm trying so hard to do everything right. I, yeah, yeah. I, I give a structure. I work yeah. really hard. Catherine, it's humanly impossible for you to provide the kind of structure in your home that he needs. He needs a therapeutic environment. He needs to be surrounded by professionals who can help him 24 hours a day. So, uh, what is it that you're suggesting, Doctor? I know a wonderful residential treatment center in Maine. I know people who have gone there. They specialize in fragile boys just like Tim. Okay, excuse me. I'm not sending my son away, okay? He's already in a therapeutic day program through the school district. Mm -hmm. Isn't that enough? Listen, I know it's upsetting to hear about this, but there is just no way that you are capable of providing the kind of structure that he needs. Okay, but we have come to you for help. Mm -hmm. And now you're telling me that your solution is to send him away? Catherine. That's not acceptable. Catherine, let's just... I can do better. I'm his mother. No one knows him like I do. No and one... I am the one who's supposed to help him, no Henry. One is debating I've been doing it for years. Uh, let's just hear okay? the doctor. I'm sorry. Just stay for a second. No, Listen. I'm not going to talk about help, it. Please. Okay, Catherine, I can explain to you. Can we, please? <laughs> it's a lot to think about. Let me ask you something. If this was your son, what would you do? It's hard, yeah? But I think if, if Tim were my son, without a doubt, I would. I'd put him into the residential treatment center. And how long are we talking about? And, and what are the costs? I believe it's about a year, and it's expensive. It's in the six figures. It's, it's not nothing. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Hold on a Tim, your mom's here for you. So, what do you think? I think maybe it's their time to play. But I so. want to play. It's not fair. Oh, yeah. Mom, come how about on. I don't belong here. How about we set up the board to I want to go home. Okay, baby, come on. Let's go home. Oh, no, no. Let's go. She can jump this way. You can jump this way. You can jump this way. It's okay. No. no. Maybe Dr. Harris is right. About what? I don't know, Henry. But I'm scared. He's not getting better. He struggles every day, and the school is worse. I'm trying to help him. But I think Dr. Harris is right. He needs more help than I can give him. What are you saying, sweetheart? If we do this, I know it's going to be expensive. OK, but. but Maybe we borrow money from my parents, or, or, or I'll, I'll get a job, we could sell the house. But we have to do something. We don't have another choice. How in the world are we going to tell him? I don't know. You sure about this? No. What do you think? Say, uh, Kyle, come here. You didn't say goodbye. I love you, honey. Mom, I'll be gone for the weekend. It's a debate tournament, not boot camp. <laughs> I know. Listen, good luck. You're going to be great. All right. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, that looks fun. God, you're so annoying. You made me forget what I was writing. You ruined it. Tim, why did you do that? It was horrible. Jesse came over and messed me up. It's OK. 
Just calm down. There's no reason to get upset. I hate you. You've ruined everything. Yeah. Let's just I talk. hate you. Listen, you, you want to write? You want to write? Here! Sam! Listen, he didn't mean to distract Why you. Why do you always take his side? You're such a stupid bitch! Okay, Jesse, you need to go upstairs. Okay, honey? Okay, remember what we talked about? You go Why are you guys always okay? talking about Damn. me? Now listen, Jesse did not mean to distract you, and you know How that. do you know? Okay? You were too busy hugging Kyle. Listen to me. You need you. to calm I down. No, Tim! Get out of me! I will kill all of you! Tim! I swear! God. And I will kill myself! Oh, Tim! Oh. Listen, look at me. No. No. I'll kill you! No! I'll okay. kill you, Jesse! No! Sweetheart! I'll you! Tim! Listen, I'll kill you! No, no, you're not a horrible person. Hey, Chris, no, don't say that. said that you needed help, honey. Okay, so you could feel better? Well, Dad and I found a place that will help you. No, Mom, I'm, I'm doing better now. Honey, you're gonna be home before you know it. What do you mean? It's only until you feel better, okay? No, Mom, please. You, you said you'd always be there for me. And I am always here for you, okay? You gotta trust me. Please, Mom. Okay? I'm begging you, don't do this to me. Dad, please, don't send me away. Tim, your mom and I love you more than anything. This is such a hard decision. It's the best thing for you, though. You don't care about what's best for me. You just want to get rid of me. No, Tim. That's all. Stop. You hate me. Tim, that's not true. Stop it. That's I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. I can't do this. I'm sorry, sorry for everything. I'm sorry, sorry for everything. Tim, come Please, mommy.
Do something? Your father will be down in a minute. Mom, what happened? What did he do? He needs help. He just needs help. We didn't know what to do. Mom, where's Tim? Where is he, Mom? Maybe this will help. What the hell have you done to my brother? We had no choice. Your brother needs help. What he needs, our parents who you know how to handle him. Why didn't you try harder? Where's my brother? He's in Maine. He's in Maine. He wasn't going to school, okay? That's because you didn't make him go! What kind of mother lets her kid get away with shit like that? Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. That is not fair. Your brother has bipolar disorder. Look, baby. We're gonna get through this, okay? I promise, honey. We're gonna get through it. <laughs> Bullshit. Catherine? Baby? Mom. No. You're here. Oh, of course I'm here. It's Baby. been so hard. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, you couldn't keep me away, darling. Hey, buddy. You okay? Want to come in? Are you mad at Mom and Dad? I don't know. You? I don't know. Tim didn't like me anyway. Hey, that's not true. Don't say that. Hey, guys. Can I join you? I guess. I know this has all been really difficult for you guys. And I just want you to know that your mom and I love you more than anything. All three of you. Your brother has an illness, and it's nobody's fault. Is it contagious? No. It's not contagious, buddy. No, Tim has a uh, chemical imbalance in his brain that makes it um, harder, you know, for him to do things that uh, are easy for the rest of us. What's it called again? Bipolar disorder. Hey, James. Here's Tim. Hey, Tim, come on in. Thanks, Sasha. We're good. Well, don't worry. Rocket is very friendly. Dogs understand people better than we do. Sit down. So, Tim, tell me. How'd you get here? By force. Is that so? Being punished. My parents hate me. Really? Why do you think that? Why? Don't you have all the answers? <laughs> Wouldn't that be easy? You sound angry. Don't belong here. Well, since you are here, let's see if we can make the best of things, okay? Whatever. You know, being here will help you if you let it. 
There's nothing wrong with me. You're not here because there's something wrong with you. Or because your parents hate you. Let me show you around, OK? We only have three rules, and they're designed to keep everyone safe. You can't feel good if you don't feel safe. So the first rule is that someone needs to know where you are at all times. That means if you need to go anywhere, even to the bathroom, you got to ask an adult for permission. Got it? Seriously? What is this, jail? We can't keep you safe if we don't know where you are. The second rule is hands off. No Give touching other students. Give it back no to wrestling, me. Dude, no poking, nothing. Whoa, 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 hey, hey. Whose hat is it? It's my hat. It's his hat. Why do you, why you have his hat? I'm just joking. He's just joking. He's just joking. Wes, go. Toss it to me. There he is. Nice. A lot of kids misinterpret joking around as aggression. So what's the third rule? Until you reach a level of independence, you cannot go beyond the property line without an adult. Where is everyone? They're on the way back from school. Don't worry. We don't let anybody go to school for the first couple weeks. You won't go till you ask for it. I think that's gonna happen. Oh, it will. Trust me, after hanging out here for a couple weeks with nothing to do, my bet is you'll be begging to go. You'll like it. The classes are small, teachers are pretty cool. Plus, all your friends will be there. Friends? I don't have any friends. That'll change. And this is the common room. Where you guys will hang out, play games, write letters to your family. Write letters? Can I just email? We don't have computers here. Just a school for schoolwork. And no cell phones. What? You have to be kidding me. Anyway, I don't write letters. It's like a text, but without the phone. You'll get the hang of it. Hey, Frank, come on over here. Yeah. I want to introduce you to someone. Tim, this is Frank. Frank's going to be your roommate. Uh, cool hair, man. What you hiding under there? No, I'm sorry. I'm just messing with you. Here, come on. So, uh, how you doing? Oh, stupid question. First day sucks. Uh, actually, the first week sucks. Mm, come to think of it, hey, the you first... You here and you know it. Okay, love might be a bit of a stretch. But it's not so bad. You'll get used to it. Come on, let me introduce you to some of the guys. Dex, Brian. So good to see your friendly face. Catherine? Catherine, come downstairs. Lisa's here. It is so good to see you. How long are you staying? Oh, as long as she needs me. You're a good woman. She's lucky to have you. How's she doing? That's been rough on everybody. It's going to really cheer her up to see you, though. She hasn't seen anyone in weeks. Catherine? Sweetie, come on down. Lisa's here. Hello, stranger. Shy latte. I'm gonna check my laundry. Hi. I love your mom. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> she is amazing. I just don't know how I'd cope without her. So how you doing? I'm fine. I'm okay. How's Tim? He's good. You know, it's beautiful up there. Kat, you don't have to pretend with me. I've never told anybody this before. Tim has bipolar disorder. We tried everything. We, um, we did therapy and doctors and meds and um he just Lisa I just couldn't help him it takes so much courage to do what you did <gasps> you know that right oh I don't know when do you get to see him? Every three or four weeks. I miss him. Yeah. 
I get it, I really do. My sister is bipolar. She has been most of her life. What? Oh my God. Lisa, I mean, I didn't, I didn't have any idea. Oh. I never told anyone. You know, I didn't even know you had a sister. Okay. <laughs> How is that possible? I'm just full surprises. <laughs> How did I not even know that? I'm so here, you know that, right? I okay, know. now, are you ready for the tough love? What? You look what? like shit. <laughs> I love you. Oh my God. No offense. Thanks for cheering me up. But you gotta take better care of yourself. No, I'm just tired. Okay? I know, I know. I'm but really... you can't take care of anyone unless you take care of yourself first. It's like rule number one of parenting. When was the last time you had a checkup? I don't know. Catherine. Okay. 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 I promise. I promise. I promise. Just start running again or come to yoga with me. Yeah, no, I'm not doing come yoga. On. Me and yoga, right. <laughs> no, pass. It'll help. <laughs> I promise it'll help. Okay. And you I know, will. there are some great support groups that might really help to be with other parents who are going through the same thing. You don't have to do this alone. I didn't know. I just... I didn't know what to do. Hey, it's a minute, but this place is actually kind of cool. I know, right? Uh, I've never been camping before. Seriously? Yeah, my parents always wanted me to go, but I, I don't know. I just never really wanted to. Never really wanted to leave the house. Well, that uh, would make camping difficult. <laughs> yeah. Out here in the woods. It's kind of awesome. This is where I decided I really needed to get my shit together. What do you mean? You seem so together to me. Oh, that's funny. I was an even bigger mess than you when I got here. Yeah, right. No, seriously, I was hearing voices and shit. Here, see this? Yeah, I, uh, I threw myself into a glass door. Kind of freaked my parents out. It's pretty intense. Yeah. But um, I'm working hard, and, and I'm on the right meds now, so. I hate meds. Side effects suck. Headaches are the worst. How about nausea? Dizziness. Weight gain. Weight loss. Can't sleep. Can't wake up. Constipation. Diarrhea. <laughs> that might be the food here. <laughs> it's like. I just couldn't turn it off, you know? I would stare at the computer, you know, hoping for something good to happen. It was like gaming was the only way I could stay calm, you know? Maybe it felt safer to be friends with a computer screen? Yeah, I guess. A computer can't laugh at you or leave you. You know? Well, you've been here for five months now without a computer. How do you feel? Like I miss my freaking computer, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I feel pretty good. Making sports is kind of lame, but you guys, you're all right. It's cool hanging out with people instead of electronics. You're pretty cool, Wyatt. Thanks for sharing. I know that wasn't easy. OK, everybody, tonight I'm really proud to share that Frank has earned his independence. Yeah, yes. yeah. Frank, I'm, I'm just I'm so proud of you, man. You uh, really worked hard at this. You really deserve it. Great job. Um, why don't you stand and, and share a little bit with everybody? I don't need permission to miss any more. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Great job. Thanks. Um, I'm gonna...
gonna read from this because, uh, you know, I'm not good at speeches and it's easier if it's written down. Okay. Being here has not been easy. For a long time, my focus was trying to figure out how to get the hell out of here. <laughs> but, um, but then I realized that I needed to understand how I got here in the first place. I'm not proud of some of the stuff I did in my past, but I forgive myself because I know what happened then isn't about who I am now or, or the person I want to be. I'm learning to accept and understand my shit so that I can manage it all a little bit better. And I'm learning to accept other people as they are. Because if I don't, you guys are gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> uh, seriously though, I, uh, I found a quote the other day that I, I wanted to share. Um, Life is short. Live it. Love is rare. Grab it. Anger is bad. Dump it. Fear is awful. Face it. Memories are sweet. Cherish them. Well, I'm glad you're all here. I know this is a stressful time for all of you. Kyle and Jesse. Do you understand what's happening with Tim? Yeah. Kyle? What? Someone's talking. I, I get it. Tim's bipolar. Well, actually, Tim's not bipolar. Tim has bipolar disorder. What difference does that make? Well, it's kind of important that you separate the illness from Tim. That's the difference. You seem angry. No. I know it's not his fault. It's true. Well, you can know that and still be angry. I'm not angry. Oh, honey, it's OK to be angry. You can talk about it Hi, here. Hi, Catherine. You can just let Jesse talk for himself just for today. Thank you, though. I'm sad and stuff, but, but I'm kind of glad he's gone. Well, see, Tim took a lot of his anger out on Jesse, so it was very, very hard on him. Kai, what's up over there? <laughs> it's just so typical. Jesse only thinks about himself, and Mom always jumps in to defend Kyle, him. Kyle, that's inappropriate and unfair. You know it's not fair? What? It's not fair that things used to be fine. He was fun and happy, and he was never afraid. Now, it sucks. It sounds like you were really close. We used to be. Used to? Do you feel do you feel like it's, um, it's someone's fault? My parents, I guess. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't they control him? Do you really think they could have done something? No. Henry, how does this all make you feel? How does it feel for you to hear Kyle? I've <clears throat> tried to keep the family together, and um, I feel uh, helpless sometimes. Jesse, you said that you were relieved that Tim was gone. That's perfectly normal to be relieved that he's not there. I mean, 
when you don't know what's gonna happen in your house? That's gotta be upsetting. It's tough walking on eggshells all the time, huh, pal? Well, Tim is working on getting better. He's gonna come home and keep working. And you all need to learn how, how to cope, really, and to, to take care of yourselves. Because he can't do it alone, y'all can't do it alone. To be there for each other, and this is really a family effort, yeah? Here's hope. More fan mail, Frank. <laughs> Timothy Spencer. Dear Tim, how are you? We want you to know how proud of you we are. Oh, we just miss you terribly, and I can't wait to see you. I can't believe that it's already been two weeks since our last visit. Dear Mom and Dad, I miss home so much, and I'm working hard so I can come back soon. Frank and I are becoming good friends, and he's pretty chill and gets it, if you know what I mean. Are Justine and Kyle coming to visit this time? I've got some cool new card games I want to teach them. Tell them I miss them. I love you. I think a lot about home, but it makes me really sad. I'm so sorry for all the pain I've put you guys through. It is very difficult to talk about, but I'm working on it. Everyone here has a story and nobody judges, especially Rocket, <laughs> that he's a dog. Hey, can we get a dog when I come home? I can't wait to see you next week. I miss you. It's so peaceful here. Do you guys get out here to hike a lot? Sometimes, on weekends. Tim, are you okay? Can we go back to the hotel? Tim, we're only halfway through our hike. I'm really tired. Can we go? I think if you just keep walking, we'll, you know, we'll probably feel better. No, I can't do it. Well, either way you look at it, we've got a half an hour back or forward. I don't care. I can't do it. I'm done. OK, listen, maybe we just need a little break, OK? Honey, listen, remember what James said, OK? I don't give a crap about what James said. You are my parents. Why do you listen to everything that he says? That place sucks! I don't Shh. belong there. No, Tim. I need to come home. Honey, call James. All right. It's okay. It's okay. Look at me. It's okay. I don't know what happened, James. I mean, everything was fine until it wasn't. He was doing so well. I mean, I, we haven't had an episode like this in quite some time. This is actually progress, guys. Sometimes it's one step forward and five steps back. If he doesn't let it out, we can't help him. So it's actually progress that he has a meltdown in the middle of the woods and we practically have to airlift him out. Yes. Yes. Sometimes it is. Trust me. Now we got something to work with. Oh my God, Lisa. No, seriously, I didn't think we were gonna get him back there. I know. Oh, I have another call coming in. Can you hold on? Okay, thanks. Hello? Yes, this is Catherine. Uh-huh. OK. Thursday works. No problem. Thank you. Hey, sorry about that. No, it was just the doctor's office. No, I feel good. I do. In fact, I want to go on a run before Jesse gets home from school. OK? All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Catherine, uh, your, your husband couldn't make it? Oh, no, it's not necessary. You know, Dr. Lee, my mother has had so many biopsies. It's always the same thing. 
I guess I take after her. <laughs> we laugh that uh, we're just lumpy. <laughs> Catherine, I'm afraid it's a bit more complicated than that. You have five small tumors in your left breast, and the pathology report indicates that each tumor tested positive for invasive cancer. Uh, how serious is it? I'm recommending you have both breasts removed. If I have a mastectomy, will it get rid of the cancer? Well, we won't know for sure until after surgery. Depends how far the cancer has spread. Will I need chemotherapy? It's hard to tell, but I think it's likely. Catherine, I'm, I'm very sorry. Mm. Mm. I can't remember having a meal this good. <clears throat> What's this? There's like a tarragon in this dressing. It's amazing. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Honey. Mm -hmm. um, I need to tell you something. Mm hmm. cancer. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no. Don't you apologize. I feel so... No, no. I feel so guilty. Stop. Stop. Look at me. We're gonna get through this together. All right? Your mom and I um, have something that we've wanted to talk to you about, and there's really no easy way to say this. So I'm just going to come right out and say it, that your mom has cancer, breast cancer. But it's OK, guys. OK, I've met with the top doctors, and I do need surgery. Breast cancer? Don't people die from that? Not necessarily. Not if you catch it in time. And did we? Well, we won't know until mom has her surgery. Will you need chemotherapy? Probably, sweetie. What's chemotherapy? It's when the doctors give you medicine to help the cancer go away. But sometimes it can make you a little sick. But that's OK. Honey, it'll be OK, because then the cancer will all be gone. Will you lose your hair? Your hair? More than likely. But I don't want you to lose your hair. Oh, honey, come here. It's only hair. I promise you, it will grow back. The most important thing is that we all pitch in together as a family and help mom get through this so she can get better quickly. Who's going to tell Tim?
No one's come to talk to us yet, but I'm sure Mom's doing just fine. They said it could take up to four or five hours. Yeah. Just take care of Jesse, would you please? And, uh, and try not to worry. Yeah. Oh, Kyle, uh, I, the doctor's coming. Um, let me call you back in a little bit. All right. How is she? She's in the recovery room. How'd the surgery go? It went very well. We removed the sentinel lymph nodes, and from what we saw, they were all clean. So the cancer hasn't spread? Well, we won't be 100% sure until we get the pathology reports back. And how long will that take? It usually takes about seven to 10 days. I will call you personally. Okay. Thanks very much, doctor. Thank you, doctor. It's my pleasure. Let me tell you, your wife is a very strong woman. And whatever happens, I'm sure she'll be okay. Nothing there? Ready to go again? Nice. Good one. Hi, um, kids are really cute. Appreciate that. Um, is there any chance that you have a soft one I could borrow? Uh, mine died. Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. enough food here to last till Christmas. Where was all of this when Tim was so ill and he couldn't leave the house for months? Did your friends even know what was going on with Tim? Not really, Mom. I don't know. I guess I just felt like I couldn't tell him. Hello? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Hold on. Hey. Dr. Lee's office is calling. Hello? Hi, Dr. Lee. Yes, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, have the results come back yet? That's what I wanted to hear. Thank you. Um, will I need to have any chemotherapy or, or radiation? Okay. Then that's what we'll do. Thank you so much. Okay. You're up in the common room. You just know I'm there. You psyched for the night? It's always the hardest. Yeah. Let's go get Frank. Tim! Oh, Tim. Hey, buddy. Uh, honey, oh, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> hey, buddy, boy. <laughs> so, 
There's something I'd like to do this weekend. Okay, what is it? I, I think it's time for a haircut. Really? Seriously? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, but don't tell anyone. I, I want you to be surprised. No worries. Let's do it before you change your mind. Yeah. I want to have one more surprise for you guys, but I think that can wait until tonight. Man, they really put the talent in talent show. Let's give another round of applause for Dogs Are Brown. So, uh, it's been a while since our last act has graced this stage. Uh, however, he is now going to make a return. Give it up for Timothy Spencer. Tim, are you ready? Same. Thank you. 